We begin here at 11 with our eyes to the skies. A phenomenon is happening at this hour. Take a look here. The northern lights can be seen all around Metro Detroit. Moments ago, our tower cam in Belleville captured this beautiful greens, a little bit of purple. Thank you for joining everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. Yeah, and I'm Damon Fernandez in for Devin Skilly. A nice light show out there. We didn't know if we were going to be able to see it. There's a lot of cloud cover out there, but I think if you have a, a, cam a cell phone and you're able to take a picture, you can see it a little bit better than what your naked eye can, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. And Kim Adams, uh, she's been looking at some of those videos coming in too, those photos. Kim, how's it looking? I mean, it is absolutely <laughs> insane. It is insane. I mean, what you're seeing right now is what a lot of people make reservations for a trip of a lifetime up to the poles to see this. And we're getting treated to it, not just here in Metro Detroit, but as far south as Georgia. That is absolutely incredible. And the reason why these geomagnetic storms are intense, in fact, extreme, at 654, NOAA reported that the geomagnetic storm reached extreme status. That's a G5 status. Now, when that happens, there are typically or sometimes widespread voltage control problems. There could be complete power grid collapse and blackouts. But NOAA and the Space Weather Prediction Center have been preparing operators of these infrastructures for a long time. They can also track these. They're called CMEs, coronal mass eruptions. And they can track those when they get to be at about a million miles from Earth, which gives forecasters about a 20 to 45 minute lead time to alert those folks at the power grids and things like that so that they can prepare. So for you at home, really this geomagnetic storm watch means nothing to you. It's not really for the public. It's more for engineers and operators. And you're going to be hearing something about a KP line. This KP is an index, goes from zero to nine. It measures the disturbances, the geomagnetic storms. Anything above a five is when you might see the northern lights and usually this KP7 through 9 is well up to the north. The fact that it is so far to the south is absolutely incredible. So if you can go outside between now and I mean the sooner the better really the peak is between about midnight and 4 a.m. Unfortunately we have some clouds that are moving in from the west and then there's rain even further back than that so it's going to be here about four o'clock in the morning so you can see it's still really clear here in Metro Detroit so if you can get away if you're not seeing it if you're going I didn't see it at my house there might just be too many lights around your house you really need to go go out into the country go where it's dark and you'll be treated to a pretty incredible show and please send us your picture to click on uh, Detroit, our My Pick section. We're getting so many already. Uh, we're going to be showing you those. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a really once in a lifetime yeah. thing. I know we've yeah. just had one with a solar eclipse, but this has really uh, outperformed what uh, even forecasters at NOAA expected. They expected it to be severe, about a G4. And again, it's a G5, yeah. the highest that you can get. Really, really exciting. Okay, Kim, yeah. we'll check back in with you just a little bit.